Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm Father Marwan Abinader, the pastor of St. Therese Maronat Catholic Church in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'll be talking about uh, the Gospel of the fourth Sunday of Easter. It's the Gospel of John, chapter 21, from sentence 1 to sentence 14. It's about the disciples who were trying to catch fish during the night and they were not successful. Uh, suddenly, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ appeared on them early in the morning and he, and he asked them to do it again. So the disciples obeyed Jesus and went to the sea again and they were successful. Their nets were full of fish. After that, one of the disciples, John the Beloved, recognized Jesus and told St. Peter, it is the Lord. So they left everything and they went to the shore and they discovered that Jesus prepared for them a breakfast. So what is the meaning of today's gospel, my dear brothers and sisters Christ? First, if we don't have Christ in our life, we are living in darkness. Even if you are successful in this life, you have a lot of money, you have a lot of properties, and you don't have Christ in your heart, you are living in the darkness. Jesus is the light of our life. He is a good shepherd, and he is the one who will guide us to the Father, and without him, we, our nets are empty. We will not be successful to go to heaven. Secondly, the one who discovered Jesus is John the Beloved, the, the disciple who loved him from the bottom of his heart. And John the Beloved is the wise man who built his home on the rock. When the storm came, his house was solid, was strong, and the, spore, and the storm was not able to destroy it. But if you don't love Christ, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, you will be this fool man, foolish man, who will build his home on the sand and the storm will come and the house will be destroyed. So, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the one who built his life on the word of God, of God and apply the words of God in his life will be strong against any temptation. He will be strong against Satan and he will be successful to reach the kingdom of heaven. Thirdly, the disciples of Jesus discover that he prepared for them a breakfast. The breakfast in this gospel symbolizes the Eucharist, the communion, yes, the communion, the body and blood of Christ. It's very important, my dear brother and sister in Christ, to have communion every Sunday, to nourish our spirit as our body needs food, our spirit needs the body and blood of Christ, needs Jesus, because without Jesus, we live in the darkness. So at the end, my dear parishioners, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the words of Jesus are very important to our life. The body and blood of Jesus are very important for our life. Without them, we are in darkness. Whatever we do, our nets will be empty. Everything we'll do in our life has no meaning without Christ. For that reason, my dear brothers and sisters Christ, I invite you to put Christ in your heart, to make him the king of your heart. The good, he is the good shepherd who will guide you in your life and he will not leave you alone. Even when the storm will come, you will be strong like a, like a rock and God will guide you during the storm. Amen.